case you don't know, my name is Tony Cameron with TLDR Accounting. We are a professional tax and accounting firm that services therapists and professional service businesses. And today we're going to talk about estimated taxes and what happens when you haven't been paying them and what do you do about it. So estimated taxes Q4 for 2019 are due on January 15th. And that's coming up really quick. So we've been receiving a lot of questions from our clients or uh, potential clients asking, well, I haven't been paying them all year. Uh, I just found out I need to pay them. What do I do at this point? So there are a couple different options here. Step one, estimate what you should have been paying in. Uh, pay those in, pay that amount in before January 15th as an estimated tax payment. Um, the big question comes in, well, what if I don't have enough money to pay that payment? And the, the uh, payment plans come up. So payment plans are something you can set up online with the IRS, especially when you don't have the money to pay your taxes. Now, step one, you need to file your taxes. So we can't set up a payment plan for 2019 right now. You haven't filed your taxes, so the final amount of what you owe hasn't been done. So once we file your taxes for 2019 or you self-file, at that point, you can then set up a payment plan with the IRS. Uh, the number one thing to remember is once you do set up a payment plan with the IRS, you must remain current with the current year. So 2019, we file your taxes, it's February. You get on a monthly plan with the IRS. For 2020, Q1 estimated taxes are due April 15th. So you're gonna have to make sure that this is a one-time thing. You just got behind for 2019. You're setting aside the money you need for 2020 each month into your savings account and then you make your estimated tax payments uh, as they are due during 2020. Now, depending on how much money you set aside during 2019, maybe when you make your Q4 estimated tax payment, you can pay off all the taxes you owe. And then when you file, you either owe a little bit more or uh, you'll get a refund or you can apply that to 2020. But the big thing is you can still make a payment to up until January 15th, and then you can pay the balance due on your tax return. If you don't have it, then we can talk about a payment plan and setting one of those up online. The big thing to remember is getting caught up. So it's January now. You should be setting aside money from your January income for your taxes in 2020. You don't want to keep playing catch up. So say you set aside money in January, February, March. You use that to pay your 2019 balance, but now you're behind in 2020. And you don't, you just don't want that to start cascading. Um, my big thing is just get current to the current year, and then you can get on a payment plan for the prior year, get that paid off as soon as possible, and then you're just good to go. You don't need to worry about it anymore, and you have a system in place. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if so, like us on Facebook, follow us. We'll be doing these on the first Tuesday of each month.